Thank you. Who's heard of regenerative ag? <laughs> I had no idea what it, that was in 2016. And, and I started looking at the family farm and I started thinking about, is this long-term sustainable? When we start to look at the soil was powder. You go to Home Depot, it's spongy, black, dark soil. In agriculture, government policy in, around the world, not just in the US, around cheap calories. So when you go to all of the food that's in your grocery store, and you look at the animal food, you look at the biofuels we create, it's around how do you produce the lowest cost commodity to stay in business. So regenerative wasn't a term that I had any idea. I was just looking at the farm going, hmm, I like to hunt and fish, and we're just spreading peanut butter everywhere. Mm. And I use that as a vernacular to say, what is the energy equation that we're trying to do is the lowest cost food, lowest cost calorie, lowest cost animal feed. So we can comp compete on a global market. Now we have global commitments that are going through the roof for uh, climate commitments. Energy demand is gonna go up because of AI and data centers. I mean, it's gonna go up by a half a gigaton in just three years in the US alone. How are we going to mitigate that climate problem? We need to unlock the ingenuity of the farmer around the world. So I came up with this idea. I don't know what I was doing, but <laughs> started gooning around with some uh, scientists at the National Labs in 2016, and we founded ARVA in 2019, and did research for the Department of Energy and greenhouse gas emissions, which kind of gave us a seat at the table when we started talking to the consumer packaged good companies about reducing emission in, in food production. So we went from a startup idea in 2019, today we're in 13 countries. We've paid out, through the end of this year, over $100 million to farmers wow. to reduce emissions. So over that time, we'll have reduced 5 million metric tons of carbon. The goal here is to start a movement and for you as consumers to start to think about how do we start to reward those companies committed to rewarding the farmer? Rewarding these farmers, it's gonna be, just so you know, this year will be the worst year since 1980 for farmers around the world. Commodity prices are down, input prices are through the roof because of the Russian war. We are gonna have the highest number of bankruptcies in 50 years. What can we do? We in the cities want to have um, a, a better climate. We've got these farmers that are very smart and very ingenuitive. We can unlock their passion for sustainability in the farm by rewarding for that. And we're not talking about an expense. This will be the best climate solution we can do in terms of the cost effectiveness. So just in terms of thinking, I want you to think about you know, thank Kellanova, thank Nestle, thank Pepsi, thank um, uh, a whole Del Highs and Walmart. They're committed and they're making a movement. So as you start to look, hopefully we'll start to see a regenerative brand on the shelf soon, and we can start to vote with our feet. So, thank you, Jay. Give yeah. him a round of applause.